Hello everyone! Today we're marrying the lady in a desert, creatively named Sandy. Also an accurate depiction of her personality. She lives in the store in the desert where there's obviously not a lot of customers and thanks to the mod she even has a kitchen and bedroom. So now she's almost like a normal person. And like everyone in existence, she really loves sweet peas so those are the gifts she's going to be getting. Hello hello sweetie, we're off to a good start. And hello to you, you look like a stripper. I'm so glad that the bus is back in service. It was starting to get lonely out here. If you know what I mean, here's the first gift. Ooh, I absolutely love getting flowers in the valley. I'm so happy. Knowing her, we're probably going to get like three hearts per gift because she seems pretty easy. If you want an update on the kids, they're still here. Both of them, unfortunately, and I believe these ones are from Lewis and Marnie, but I could actually be wrong. Gift number two, is there any new dialogue? You can find coconuts and cactus fruits outside. Feel free to take as many as you can find. Well, obviously, it's not like you own the outside world. Yeah, whatever. Here's a sweet pea. Sweet pea? How is my favorite stripper this morning? It's always sunny here, even in winter. Yes, apparently it's a very diverse climate in whatever world this is. Actually, it's a little hot for my taste. My delicate skin burns quickly in the sun. Which is why I spend my nights stripping in the casino. Here's a sweet pea. The very flirty Sandy is up to three hearts now. Does that mean new dialogue? Emily really hates fish taco. And I really hate Emily. I think we're good enough friends now that I can go look around her room. I don't know if she has anything interesting. It doesn't look like anything I can interact with. That bed looks like a single. Don't know what that's about given her personality. Good morning, Five Heart Sandy. You're probably already pregnant with my children. Have you seen Emily lately? Not for a little while. Not since I divorced her. We've known each other for quite some time. Yeah, enough about Emily. I don't really like her that much. To be fair though, she was one of the more interesting marriage candidates. So, do you like eat the poisonous flowers, or...? A word of warning, Emily really hates Mackie Roll. I really don't care about Emily, can we stop talking about her now? I know what she likes, and I know what she doesn't like. She likes prismatic shards, and she doesn't like me very much. My faithful horse is still here, he's been a few years without a stable or a roof over his head at least. I'm a little curious as to how long he's going to hang out for, and if I can get another one. Anyways, should only be another week before we can see the 8 heart event, the mod 8 heart event. Today, we get to see her heart event as she is at 8 hearts. I've just got to come back after 3 p.m. Hi there, sweetie. You sure come by a lot. Of course I do. I need you to marry me. And then we're going to have kids, and then we're going to get rid of everything I just mentioned. Since you and Emily seem to be so close, I'm surprised she hasn't told you all about me. Let's see what this heart event's all about. Mod 8 heart event. Of course, it's in Sandy's own house with some new music that I've never heard before. She's tinkering around, not even using her hands. She's some kind of psychic. Maybe she's part wizard, like the wizard. Oh, hi, mums. Hi. Sorry I wasn't up front. Business was a little slow today, so I decided to close up early and make a bite to eat. I'm pretty sure I'm the only customer you've ever had. And it's not a big deal if someone comes in. You just have to walk ten steps over to your register. You weren't needing anything, were you? I need you to stop talking about your friend Emily. Nope, I just came by to see you. How sweet. Well, aren't you the honest one? Uh, actually I'm not. I'm glad. Stick around. I'll share. What are you sharing exactly? Either way, it's probably going to be a good time. And I'm just going to stand here and watch her cook. Because I'm socially inept. You know, mumps, I'm thinking about packing up shop pretty soon. That's nice. Sandy's oasis isn't doing so well lately. I know it always seems slow in here, but it's been worse lately. Sandy's oasis. I like the sound of that. I'll help out Sandy's oasis. I might move to Pelican Town, actually. Yes, then we can have three stores competing for my business. Emily said she and Haley could put me up for a little while, at least until I get a place of my own there. There is literally no real estate available. Every house is occupied, and there's certainly no room for another store. Anyways, it's just something I've been thinking about lately. Don't worry yourself about it. Believe me, I'm really not worried about what you're doing. If I make any final decisions, I'll tell you. Please don't. I'm busy enough with the days. I have two kids and a horse. Hey mums, thanks for listening. I'm glad you stopped by. Yeah, it was a lot of fun for me too. I totally wanted an afternoon of watching you cook. Also, I burnt dinner. Let's order takeout instead. It's been 75 years and I didn't know there was takeout in the valley. That's disappointing. I wonder if Pam delivers it on the bus. That's the 8 heart event. Uh, since we're here, we'll move her on up to 10 hearts and then we can do the 10 heart and then the marriage and then the divorce. In that order. 
She's received all the flowers she could ever want. She's now up to 10 hearts, so I'll come back. We'll see the 10 heart dialogue and then the 10 heart event. The 10 heart event requires me getting a letter from her, so that means I've got to sort through a few years worth of mail. This should be the letter I'm looking for. Mumps, a little birdie told me you've never been dancing in Zuzu City before. I think we should change that tonight. Meet me at my shop around 9 and we'll go out. Love, Sandy. She already loves me. Don't forget to wear something cute. I think whatever I'm wearing currently will probably suffice. Let's go see her, see what her new Ten Heart dialogue looks like. Sandy, I want you to know you have the most uncomfortable, awkward hours of anyone. Hi, stay as long as you like. I'd rather not. By the way, do you know you have an illegal casino in the back of your shop? The air conditioning sure feels nice, doesn't it? Yeah, whatever. Here's one more gift just for fun. 8pm, I think this should trigger the Ten Heart event. Yes, it will. It's dark out, she's happy to see me. Oh, hey there, Mumps. Hey there, Sandy. Can I see your oasis now? You all ready for a big night out? Sure am. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Great. Let me close up the shop and we'll hop on the bus. Who's driving the bus? You or Pam? Because I feel like by this time of night, Pam's in no condition to drive. Never clarified. Here's a fun dance club or something, no? Isn't this place fun? I don't know, we just got here. Everyone else looks like they're having a lot of fun. I love this song. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Mumps, let's dance. She's gonna be so impressed with my dancing skills. I've been alive for almost 100 years and I've never danced once. It's only been half an hour and Sandy has already had several drinks. Oh, I'm liking her more and more as this goes on. She's a drunk. Back to the dance floor, mister. My body just wants to dance. And what does your brain want to do? Probably not much. Sandy can barely stand up by herself. Yeah, not surprising. Well, aren't we going to dance? I'd like to. I don't know if I'm going to have that option, though. Uh, we can either take her home or stay at the club. We're going to stay at the club. I want to see where this goes. You danced with Sandy for a while longer, practically holding her up the entire time. Just like I hold up her business in the desert. You know, Mumps, I've been thinking. Go on. Any time now. Okay, she just ran away. That always happens. Barf. Oh, she just had to take care of some business outside. Sandy threw up all over the sidewalk outside. That's my girl. You decide to take her home. Probably a wise decision at that point. You helped her get clean and tucked her in. Yep, she's a train wreck. Am I just going to stand here and watch her sleep? Or am I going to leave? Yeah, that's better. I got stuff to do. And that was a 10 heart event. And she's back alive for some reason at 8.20. Anything to say? Nope, nothing. Since we're here, let's get married, you drunken mess. I accept. All right, sounds good. I'm going to sleep until the wedding and I'll see you there. Here we go. Another wedding with Sandy. It is my great honor on this day, 19th of summer, to unite Mumps and Sandy House 2-5 in the bonds of marriage. I have no idea what that name is supposed to be. Sandy House 25, I guess is her name. Mumps, Sandy House 25, is the mayor of whatever husband and wife. And it's party time. She's probably going to head straight for the bar and drink her face away. What are you wearing? I've never actually taken a close look at her like that. I bake muffins for breakfast, honey. Have one while they're warm. Poppy seed muffin. I don't want your opiates, thank you. You can have that back. This looks wonderful. Thanks so much. I know, I'm very thoughtful. Good morning. So are you like... Gonna do anything productive today? The rain is so beautiful. I don't really like it that much, as long as I don't have to go out in it. Yeah, like I was just saying, I really need you to do something useful today. You know what? Since she's here, I'm gonna wait for the thing to open and then go see if she's also in her store in the desert. So if there's no one here, can I buy stuff? Oh, I can still buy stuff. Then it doesn't matter if she's not here or not. This would be the perfect opportunity to steal a bunch of stuff from her store. What are you doing outside, my sandy stripper? The sun here is so much easier on my skin. It's a relief not having to rub on sunblock every day. I don't think you went outside in the desert anyway. If the sun was so hard on your skin, why live in a desert? And one more try while she's getting the last look at her house. I need to sort through my clothes today. Well, you only have one dress and literally no possessions, so that should take a while. Make sure you pack them up neat and organized, that way they're easy to move. 50,000 gold, one divorce, and bye Sandy. You should say bye to the kids, but you haven't actually acknowledged their presence yet, so whatever. Missed your opportunity. And no more Sandy. Let's go see how she feels about that. 
And the albino's back in the desert. How are you? What can I do for you? That it? That's not very salty. But what you can do for me is provide me with the supplies I need when I bother to come and see you way over here in the desert. That concludes Sandy. That really leaves just the notorious Pam. I will do Pam next Saturday. I'm going to get started on the next video as soon as this one goes up. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it.